Good morning. Howdy. Go look at Tiger Creek. You can go look at some tigers. Oh, cool. <laughs> How's oh. it going? How you guys doing? So we're uh, we're up pretty pretty bright and early. Uh, it's still morning. It's still morning. It's before noon. I mean, considering we had a, a pretty late night, um, checking out all of Ryan's awesome gear and, and jamming and stuff, that was a lot of fun. Yes. Uh, with one of uh, Ryan's buddies, Steve. Steve. Yeah, that was really cool. Today we're going to um, uh, another guitar shop with a guy that I'm friends with. It's it's a little bit of ways away from uh, RNA Music. It's probably about a 45 minute drive. And uh, this is a guy who's been in business for over 20 years. I've actually bought my first drum kit from him when I was like 12 or 13 years old, or my parents did. Yep. And uh, he's been in business forever. And probably the best repair guy in Texas when it comes to acoustic guitars, electric guitars. He sells PRS. Uh, what a Taylor. He was like the number one Taylor dealer in Texas. Small shop, independent dealer. Yep. Great people. Uh, anything I can't do repair wise or setup wise for people, I refer to him. And so I wanted to take Kelly to see his shop because it's a cool, kind of eclectic sort of guitar shop. So we're on our way to Action Sound in Hawkins, Texas. Hawkins, Texas. Hawkins. It's a cool name. Yeah, so we're driving and I'm showing. Pat, all the uh, East Texas scenery. Look at these trees. Yeah, it's, re it's really pretty. It really is quite beautiful. I, I always, I was talking the other day on one of our FAQ videos about like how much I love to live in Switzerland or Colorado because it's all scenic. Yep. I guess this is scenic, but I've lived here my whole life. To me, I'm like, ah, oh, it's just East Texas. It's nice though. We have a lot of trees. And yeah. It's so really pretty. Cows. Like, like, <laughs> considering like. How, how hot it is out here, yeah. and it's everything still this green. Yeah. You know, like in in Australia, everything is this lovely for half the year, and then summer hits, and it's all death. Yeah, it's all yellow, burnt, and because everything's so dry, then there's just the fires. You know. Yeah. So for it to stay this beautiful and green, you know, all year round, it's pretty nice. It's yeah. Pretty cool. But you know, you, you live somewhere your whole life, you sort of take it for granted. Yeah, definitely. I'd love to see some mountains. Yeah. Walk out every morning and see a huge mountain in my front door. That'd be just epic. Yeah. yeah. I would have lived in, in New Zealand actually. Uh, I think it, I, I changed my mind from <laughs> Switzerland and yep. um, Lord Lord Switzerland Rings. and Colorado. Yep. I'm like, you no, know, I want to live in Lord of the Rings land. Because it's, well, you know, if you watch the movie, it's like, does it really look like it there? It, it really does. But America has a culture of road trips, summer road trips. So you can, you know, our country's got so many highways that go everywhere. I mean, you can yeah. really. And every state's really, completely different. Yeah, you can really drive it. Or, you yeah. know, driving, sometimes the long drive is kind of half the fun because you get to see yeah. everything if you don't mind being in a car. So we love we love road trips at home as well. Yeah. But, you know, our road trip, okay, yes, you drive like, all right, you drive for a couple hours and you're out of like the city and the suburbs and you're into this, this sort of landscape. Yeah. Beautiful rolling hills. Sort of like country land, maybe some farms, that yeah. sort of stuff, and that's maybe a couple hours out of town. But once you've, once you're in there, you keep driving a few more hours. It's just more of this. This is more of the same. Yeah, it's very much more of the same. So it's lovely, but it's not like you can drive for a whole day, get to another state, and it's completely different. Yeah, absolutely different. Yeah, Top it's, it's not. It, no, it's it's not. It's none of that. You know? That's what's awesome about Texas. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. In Texas, we have hills, we yeah. have deserts. Yeah. We have, you know, down south, it's kind of tropical by the ocean. Yeah. Or by the Gulf, it's not the ocean. Yeah. You know, then you got a desert, and then you got the piney. Like, this is like trees and stuff. If you go down to sort of southeast Texas, it's more like pine trees. Okay. Completely different kinds of uh, trees. Okay. Know. But Texas is massive. So it's yeah, got a lot, it's of, huge. lot of different um, climates massive different climates in all in one state. So yeah. we're kind of on that part of the United States where things drastically change and yep. move west. Yep. But you know, it's great, yeah, you can drive. Like we've driven from Texas to Alabama, so we gotta go from Texas, uh, Louisiana, yep. Mississippi, and then yep. Alabama. We drove across four states yep. in one day. And if you go up north where there's the states are a lot smaller, okay. I mean, you can cross a lot of states in a okay. one day drive. Yeah, we like road trips, you yeah. know, but we're not like independently wealthy yeah. family, yeah. you know, as owning your own business. 
Yeah, of people, course. People will get the whole wrong idea. Like, if you yeah. want to grow a business, like, oh, you must be rich. It's like, yeah. oh, no, you, can no, work, have you can work whenever you want. <laughs> and, yeah. You must have rich. Yeah. No, I have no money, yeah. actually, because yeah. because I have my own business. Yeah. You know, I do what I love, but no, I'm not rich yeah. yet. Yeah. No, maybe someday. Yeah. You know. But you're having a lot of fun, and you're doing, yeah. you're doing exactly what you want to do. Yeah? I love what I do. Yeah. I, I don't get wake up every day and go, dang it, I gotta go to work. Yeah. My job sucks. Yeah. No, I love my job. Yeah. If it was a bit more financially, oh, it's a train, choo choo train. Oh, okay. Do people want to see the train? Yeah, why not? Okay. You guys want to see you the train? Y'all have trains, and I'll show you. You guys have trains? Yep. Okay. If it was more financially lucrative, right. that would be even better. How much weight is it? Do not try to cross. Oh, cool. There you go. He's booking it. He's... Oh. The, the train's in a hurry. That's the passenger one. Oh, that's cool. He's hauling That's pretty, yeah, that's pretty quick. Was that double decker? It looked like it. That's pretty cool. Most of the time, we don't really, we don't really have them back. We have them in Sydney, but not in Melbourne. Wherever. Most of the time, when I see trains, <clears throat> it's all like cargo. There's, yeah. There's nobody really travels by train that much anymore. Sure. And we have buses. You yeah. Can take a bus somewhere. Okay. But not a lot of traveling by. Oh man, please tell me they're open. If they didn't, I'll go to Nam or something. Oh, there. Ah, oh, yes. There's no okay. cars here. And we're here. Uh, we're here. Action sound. To be continued? Yeah. I can build a bridge. Yeah. Two rocks. Some rocks. Two rocks here. You get the rock. I don't want to mash that other one in, so hold on. There's a plethora of amplifiers here. <laughs> Lots of amps, man. Oh, H and K. Nice. He's had this crank amp for forever. Original series one. Crank. I like that. Guitars. Okay. Mucho guitars. What what'd you find there? Well I think it's a deluxe plus. I think that's what it's called. But with um with active pickups. Oh wow. Yeah. Oh, so there's like EM EMGs? No, no they're fender lace. Fender lace sensors, yeah. So a lot of my teachers um, back at home they'd, they'd always try and find them from like the nineties. Yeah. They first sort of came out. You never know what you're gonna find here at Kelly's shop. He's just <laughs> even, got like even that <laughs> two <laughs> two color V. Yeah. That's really cool. He's got just a ton of awesome stuff. They get a lot of trade-ins and stuff too, so. Oh yeah. Very southern. It's awesome. We might be in the south. It's very cool. Yeah. That's got a ton of drums too. Yeah. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm always excited to come to Action Town. I love these guys. Journey of doing stuff that we want to do with a lot of sacrifice and yes, it is. not much money <laughs> at the beginning. There's not much at the end either. <laughs> well, that's good to know. I so I don't cheer that one too. Well, thanks. <laughs> Burr, 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 burr. Get cracks in here too. I mean, they're like the most all around, aren't they? Well, yeah. All I mean, terrain, yeah, all especially the Yeah. 
the side. Right. Like a... Hey, what's up, man? What do you do here? I am a bench monkey. A be- <laughs> <laughs> well, I've never heard that term, so you're a tag. Yes. That's I like the term bench monkey better, though. Pretty much. So. Yeah. So you do repairs all day? I do. That's all I do every day. It's every day, all day. Repair works. Repair work. Occasionally slip off to the back, mess around with the inventory, but mostly repair work. Your name's Caleb. Yes, sir. Caleb, Caleb. Stroshine. All right. Yeah. How long have you been working here at Action Sound? Oh, my. I've been here for two and a half years, but I've known Kelly since I was 15, so. Yeah. Just hung around and never left. Kind of same here. Of course, I was 15 longer ago than you were 15. Probably. I know. <laughs> <laughs> You've done some work on my guitars. That yep. black wash band. I, yeah. I, I appreciate it, so. Well, now you are immortalized on YouTube for people all over the world. He's like, all right, man. Cool. Nice beard. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I lost mine. Notice he didn't compliment me on mine. <laughs> hey, it's it's a good start. <laughs> good beginnings. Good beginnings. What's your name? My name is Mikey. Mikey. I know yeah. what your name is, but for YouTube. For YouTube. Here. What do you do here? I uh, handle ordering and sales, and uh, yeah, I run and get lunch. And <laughs> yeah, I saw that. I wanted a Dr. Pepper real bad. I'll get you a Dr. Pepper. You give me five minutes, I'll be right back. It's five dollars. <laughs> this thing out for you. Awesome. Alright, let's turn this on. Got there, Pat. What's this? It's a beautiful telecaster, uh, made by one of the guys in the shop. Yeah. Here, which is which is really really cool. Caleb. And, and the owner, Steve. That'd be me. Hey, Steve. <laughs> Steve was saying that it was originally a Stratocaster neck. Yeah. My understanding. Yeah, that was then filed down. What? And and it's it's stunning. It's, and he changed the headstock to a. Um... Yeah. Well, that's crazy. Yeah, so it made the whole thing. And it, it just sounds really, really stunning. It is. I actually just got a video of Caleb. I'm like, what do you do here? And he's like, I'm a bench monkey. <laughs> just does repair. Apparently he builds pretty, guitars. Pretty good you see what the bench, bench monkey, monkey. <laughs> that's, a pretty, that's some pretty good monkey work yes. right there. Oh, man. It's, I've never seen a top like that before. Me neither. That's really cool. That's really... Uh, Filter trons in the, in the front, front and back. What do you think about this uh, East Texas guitar shop? Very cool. It's awesome, isn't it? Because we have, like, back home, we'll have, like, you know, a guitar shop will carry Fenders and Gibsons. Not, like, not everything. Yeah. yeah. So this is a real treat. Oh, he's got PRSs, he's got Taylors. Taylors. Yeah, well, that, is that like a carbon, carbon fiber? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got some Collins. The Taylor electrics look real cool. He's got Fender, he's got, he's got a truckload of vintage stuff stashed somewhere, too. So. I just told them what a bench monkey could build them. I forgot you built guitars. Yeah. Got a couple of them right here. Oh yeah. Stanley Spreads, custom Avalon Dots. This is one of my baritones I did. You 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 made a baritone telly? Like a John Five type deals. Tell me what mine when you built mine the neck. The neck was a stratocaster that I liked the feel of. Took it, changed the headstock, blended everything in. The pickups are Kent Armstrong custom shop. The mid is just a um, an electro lipstick and I've got some other trick wiring. Yeah, uh, it has, yeah, yeah, yeah. It does things. It does things. That's awesome. It does good things. So 
if somebody online wants to contact you about a custom guitar or one of your guitars, how, where can they reach you? They can reach me on Facebook. They can call the shop. They can call Action Sound they and call ask for Action Caleb. Sound. Just ask for me. I'm here. I put that in the description of this video too. Some links and stuff. So. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah, man. That's wicked. Um, I don't Very know if this nice. is a personal question, but like, so a guitar like that, if somebody else other than Steve, um, we're going to buy one, what what would somebody be looking at price-wise? Price-wise, depending what you want, it would start at about a grand, mm -hmm. about a grand plus or minus what. Depending on what you want. Custom pickups, custom woods, what type of neck, finish, that all has a factor in it. Ah, so starting price a thousand goes up depending on what they want, depends essentially. Want. That's pretty good. I would say. Yeah. So I can I can testify. Testify. I can testify that Caleb does wonderful work. He's worked on some of my other guitars. And just like my little Alvarez started having a problem. Yeah. Just a few minutes. He had it not having a problem anymore. Oh yeah, no, he's done some work on my guitars too. Yeah. So. But you know, people might think I'm biased, so I am too. <laughs> well, there you go. Keep my magic dust up under the desk. Now, if you really want to see this guitar played, yeah, put it in his hands. You want to play some guitar? Yeah, man. I guess so. What what yeah. what color is that magic dust? Can't It's not white magic dust. I just wanted uh, to leave some no. of those. I, <laughs> okay. Just I just checking. wanted to leave some of those fancy notes on there. Ladies and gentlemen, you're in for a treat. Attempts mightily to play the guitar. And refuses to need to leave those notes on there for me. <laughs> yeah, leave those there. Yeah, leave them there, please.
Yeah. 